hello guys welcome back to another tutorial so in this video we're going to see about suggested values of a column so we have the two data types in app sheet one is enum and enum list so that also we are going to see in this video so in the enum we can give the suggested values and the suggested values means uh, the list of values we can show to the user where he can select the related values whatever you want and we have another data called uh, data validity in that valid if also works like a suggested value but in that we will have a constraint some constraints so we'll explain in the demo okay let's get started so in this app we're going to create a new I'm going to create a new source on this. We will add a list of cities. Okay. So, cities. City name. So, here. So I have created a sheet called cities and I have mentioned the four list of cities. So now we are going to use this list in our customer data in the customer sheet. Sorry. So we will add a new column called city. Okay. So if you are new to this channel, check out the app sheet expressions playlist. So here we have covered most of the important expressions that I have given in the link. So now we are adding a sheet. I'm going to add the table, cities table. Okay. so the city name table got added and uh, in the customer table we have to regenerate the table because we have added a new column for city that will regenerate it So now the data type we are going to change this enum. This will show the list of columns, list of values what you are going to select. So enum and we will edit this enum data type. So if you see here uh, the allow other values. So this option we need to check because uh, we are going to allow the city from the city sheet we're going to show this list of so this is the other values so what is the other values means uh, in the auto compute we are going to give the suggested values from the city table. so the values which we add here is the static one so whatever they add we can show so as of now we we'll show we give here in the container maybe. So I'm just giving two numbers. So I'm not going to give all other values. And the base type is the text and input mode. So it's a button. Let me show you how. So as of now, I'll give auto. 
I'm saving this. So the customer table, uh, we will just check out this enum list, what are the values we are given, the two continuum we have given. Okay. The button type, it's it's taken as button type. Okay. Since we have given auto, it's given taken as button type. If it's a stat means we'll see the one by one. If it's drop down, it will show like a Okay, so this is the difference of this and whatever the game India London which came here. Now instead of giving the values here, I'm going to allow other values using the self destruct column. Okay. Values. And then the auto compute. I'm going to do this select step select from the sheet. On cities, the column is in. So we simply give the sitting sitting. Don't use select also. Okay. Now we'll see. So remember we have given the suggested values. So suggested value means whatever the value is came here can be used and uh, even if the user wants some additional value also you can type it. So that's the use of suggested values. And if we give the values here, the India London we given. So if you see we can only use these two values only. Right. So now I removed the point. So if we give values here, the user only will be able to use these values only. So since we have given allow other values and uh, we given the suggested values, let's say this. We can add other types of cities also. Okay. So let's see. Uh, the city whatever we have given came here which is the suggested values or we can use our own name also for example if i want to use some other city name let's say some we can use this also so this is the difference in the suggested values and add values and so if you want to restrict only to the particular four values we have to use the data validity so now we are using this column in auto compute the suggested values but we can able to add other values also so instead if the user wants to restrict to this cities only i'm going to remove it from suggested values and instead we can use data validity value I will save. So here now the user can able to only select these four cities. Instead, you can't able to add any other. So this is the difference between the data validity validate and uh, the expression we are doing in the suggested values. So let's see the another data type, which is the same kind of thing, but right? it's a list, which means like you can able to select multiple things. So in the enum, you can able to select only one. And if you want to select multiple values, you can use you can go for enum list. So I'm selecting enum list. So if you are selecting enum list, it will ask item separator. So for that, I'm giving. So generally, I will use comma. 
So you can use maybe dash or the pipe dot something so uh, generally comma is the uh, standardized one so i'm using the comma so what is the item separator mean so if you are selecting three values so these three values should get separated right so chennai comma value comma name okay so i'm just showing this so i'll change the data type to item list and item separator to be comma so once i selected this three c comma comma it's separated by the comma okay so but for this you have to use a uh, valid patch you are not supposed to be using value because it will throw an error so if i use values if they increase in value because i have selected three so, but the valid condition will only validate if there are only any of the city names from this list okay but we, since we have selected two, it will throw error. So instead of validate, we will use and suggest. Now you can able to select multiple list also because there is no validation condition here. And then, yeah, so that's it. So once I save, oops, since it's a key value, it's not allowing to save. delete the previous values so once that let's see it will get saved in a comma separated value in the spreadsheet see it's saved in a, with a multiple okay so thank you guys so if you have any doubts just leave a comment so if you're new to this channel just subscribe and press the notification button so in the next video we will see about uh, uh we're going to add the list addition how you're going to add the list and subtracting the list you can see okay thank you guys bye bye we'll see you in the next video